What's up, people? Cypher here. Back to Sector 2. Lost Crusade. Uh, today, I forgot we had an event. It's called Void Supremacy. So... We started off going into you get into, you have to go into a separate map basically uh the best thing about void supremacy is that you don't actually lose your troops if you go in here and you just zero yourself fighting or whatever then technically you won't lose any troops because of it right because it, it once the event's over all your troops are back and everything Now we've got two events that go on now when it comes to the Void Supremacy. We have a normal Void Supremacy which has been around all the time, it's just sort of for a long time and it's been sort of every now and then. Now we they've introduced a league which is mo a lot more frequent than the normal one. It's a bit crazy trying to align these times and get your members in order. For these fights as you can see in terms of the fight that we're going on right now there's no show on their side <laughs> which is only a good thing for us uh, we get to just go about the map and collect so as soon as essentially as soon as the event starts you want to take all the buildings each building gives you a variable amount of points uh you take the more buildings you take the more points you're going to be accumulating over the minutes and over the hour it's down to who can gain the most points so as you can see i just send out my standard deployments that i'd use for fighting right now as there was no one in their their domain this little red square is their domain and when one of their players enter the battle, they'll appear here in their safe zone. Technically, we're not allowed or we can't hit them while they're in this square. Like, they can't hit us while we're in our square, which is a blue square. Now, this just seems like it's going to be a no-show. However, it could, like, all of a sudden, within 10 minutes into the event, you could have, like, three level 40 bases monster wells appear and they could really take the win quite easily even after coming in so late so you still got to be quite careful with it you can't just sort of go in on oh, no show there's gloating play about is you really just got to get as many points as you can as quick as you can while no one's around <laughs> just in case isn't it Now, once you've actually breached the building and took the building and it claims that you've taken the building, you can recall your troops from the building and you're still gaining points from it. That allows you then to take other area, uh, other buildings if you haven't already taken them. And um, during a certain portion of time in this event, you get what uh, these shipwrecks, that's what they're called, they appear. And they're for the purpose of collecting. You can collect uh, points off of them that you can use to in the Void Supremacy shop. So the more you collect, the more you can buy in the shop. So the best thing to really do, especially if there's a no-shower, then you take all the buildings, recall all your troops by warping. It's not worth uh, recalling your troops manually because you'd just be sat there for ages waiting for them to return. Whereas if you were to just warp and you get free warps on a refreshable basis in the event. Now, if you were to warp, basically you, all your troops are in buildings, garrisons or whatever, go back to your base automatically. Instantly. So then you can just warp yourself next to a shipwreck bang all your troops are back in your base you've got five deployments again send out to the five shipwrecks that are closest to you
And when it came to the void, I recorded it. And then I'm doing the video now. In terms of um, the narration and such. I wasn't in a position to record. I don't... I get a, a good portion of time in my day where I don't get the position to record while talking or anything. So when that happens, sure enough, it doesn't mean I can't record. It just means I can't say anything while I'm doing it. So I'll, you might find some of my videos might be replays of videos rather than uh, uh, what would be considered me live streaming like right now. However, there's a shipwreck, as you can see in the corner. We've basically taken everything. They still a no show. <laughs> there's no points there aside. We're accumulating 920 points per minute. This is an easy win. Some people get angry at these wins. I just take it what it is, isn't it? So yeah, sure enough. Easy win for us. Easy points. Now we get to go... Uh, we get rewards for the actual win itself, and we get points to go spend in the shop. Lovely jubbly. We are back, and look at what's going on. We have burning all over the place. Basically, as I said to you before in one of my previous videos, this alliance broke a, uh, server rule agreements, which aren't official rules, they're just sort of... Um, unofficial rules that are agreed upon by the members within the server or sector and these ones decided to sort of rebel against that and hit some platforms which is a big no-no and now we're finding out why it's a big no-no <laughs> so i'll probably float around this area right now just to witness this burning they're having a barbecue they've already smashed up members Thing is, is that a, a, a few of these members came from our alliance. Unfortunately, they decided to move over to this alliance to uh, grow their base. And the intention was to come to this alliance to grow your base. To then, when you're fighting fit, come back to our alliance, TLA, and fight with us. It didn't really happen. They basically just stole a load of our players so that they could have our players. <laughs> no one came back to us in terms of fighting. Now they've gone one step further and decided to plat hit, which has resulted in total burning. Now what I commonly do, when I just about go do other things and leave the game for a bit, so you'll go out and send your troops to nodes to collect. Now, I've got five deployments. So what I usually do... Never send out your garrison troops. Bad idea. Suffer oh, not out. the traitor. Fear the lion's rock. One weak ass hero with enough troops to say that he's going to collect the rock. And I'll do that for four deployments not five for us now is the hour of blood now is the time to fight by the end of this day we will have a new verse to add to the sagas proud brothers it is by our will that mankind is yeah, shielded from <laughs> darkness making sure that Now, with the fifth one, you can either leave it in your base, just in case someone wants to come along and start farming your alliance members. At least then you've got one deployment, 
you've got your main heroes, not your don't like the the ones out mining right now are your weak heroes, so it doesn't matter. You've got your powerful heroes ready to whack someone. Um, if you've got your emergency operation, then you're ready basically to hit someone if they do appear. Um, if you did want to. Though if you did want to collect a node, I'd suggest do it to one that's close to you. Yeah, so that you're able to return from it quickly. Your life, faith, in the right hands is humanity's greatest weapon. Not by the Emperor's standards, but you know. Go ahead, Inquisitor. Say what you wanna. <laughs> Either way, that's how I usually send out my deployments. It's a safer way to do things, especially if you're not wearing a shield. <laughs> 